Hey guys, Chicken Plate here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go over three things Hell Let Loose has that other games don't. The things that make this game special and very enjoyable most of the time. So before we get into it, consider subscribing and I hope you like this video. Let's dive right in. Even though in the previous video I probably made it seem like I hate this game now since the update, there still are a lot of things about it that I really like and because of which this game is still very much worth playing. Firstly, the community is the best I think any game out there has at the moment. I used to play a lot of Rocket League and Call of Duty. Those communities are filled with toxicity and hate and they're therefore not very easy to get in being a new player. The problem being that not a lot of players there understand that someone isn't as good because it's their first time playing the game. In Hell Let Loose I've never had that feeling. Ever since I've started playing, from the first hour, when I was all lost and clueless, there was always someone I could turn to, even in proximity chat, to explain to me how certain things work. Since the update we've gotten many new players and I see them post on Reddit how hard the game is. And when someone and their three friends bought a game, they don't know how to play it. Probably because the four of you are playing in a locked squad, ignoring the command chat. I know this community well enough to know, even though you should keep the command chat clean for comms, if you're a new squad leader, you should never be afraid to ask what to do. Everyone I've met in this game have been very friendly to me, and I've never even had a toxic encounter, to be honest. Everyone was just so helpful. And the best of all is, even though everyone seems to hate the way the trucks steer right now, there are teams in which 12 total strangers can have so much fun driving onto the battlefield. TELL ME WHY! <laughs> <laughs> Making my way downtown. <laughs> Secondly, yes, I complained about the tank play, but nonetheless, destroying a tank in Hell at Loose is one of the most rewarding feelings you can experience playing a video game. If you jump on any Battlefield title, or maybe Call of Duty, Tanking is so much easier, you control the tank by yourself, steering and maneuvering are a piece of cake. There you control your gun with the mouse and the third rotate speed is much higher than in Hell at Loose. Therefore getting a tank kill there seems like nothing special, you can have 10 or more vehicle destroys in one game, whereas in Hell at Loose it's rather hard hunting down a tank and not getting shot in the ass by a bunch of AT guys while doing so. It's harder to destroy it as you need to have map knowledge, coordination and a proper communication with your tank squad and also know where to place your shots to do as much damage as possible. I think the reason why it's so rewarding is also because one enemy tank defending an objective can mean the difference between capturing that point or failing. <laughs> Lastly, the gameplay is a mix of a lot of good stuff. Because of the way Hell at Loose spawn system and map system work, the general direction of where the enemy's main force is coming from is usually obvious. That allows for really making a strategy of how to trick the enemy or get around them, if of course your team is using communication. The animations, then, are really good after the update in the summer, and there's suppression which is something Battlefield and Call of Duty don't have and just makes the game so much more immersive. There are a lot of times when it almost feels like you're there, on the battlefield. All the sounds, the screaming over local chat and the suppression. Also, the iron sights aren't something every game can make well, but in Hell at Loose they've, they're very well made and functional. Some things I mentioned here I know are similar to what Squad has, but Squad is a modern setting game. All of you playing Hell at Loose probably want the best World War II experience. So why not post Scriptum then, instead of Hell at Loose? 
For me, HLL puts together tactical realism and arcade feel into a mixture that's just perfect. That's it for today guys, if you liked this video smash a like and consider subscribing and sharing, if not a dislike and let me know down in the comments section where I could improve. Also feel free to check my previous video right here and I'll see you in the next one.